السلام علیکم آئی ماسما مشتاق فرام دی ڈبلی وائبس ان دس ویڈیو لیکچر وی ول لرن اباؤٹ دی ڈائٹ کنیکشنز اینڈ وی ول سی دا سرکٹس ویئر دی ڈائٹس ول بی کنیکٹیڈ ان سیریز اینڈ ان پیرول سو فرسٹ آف آل آئی ول ڈسکس دا کیس ویئر دی ڈائٹس آر کنیکٹیڈ ان سیریز سو ایزیومنگ دیٹ وی آر ہیونگ ٹو سلیکون ڈائٹس دیٹ آر کنیکٹیڈ ان سیریز اینڈ here is the v out terminal assuming that the value of this resistor is equal to 680 ohm so this is basically the current limiting resistor that is present in the circuitry and here the input voltage is plus 12 volt okay so let's just call this silicon 1 diode and silicon 2 diode the voltage drop across the silicon diode 1 is equal to 0.7 volt and silicon 2 is also equal to 0.7 volt assuming that both these diodes are having the same characteristics and since the positive potential is present at the first terminal or at the anode terminal and we know the simple rule of the conduction of the diode is that anode terminal should always be at the higher or the positive potential as compared to the कैथोड ओके देन द डायोड इज फॉरवर्ड बाइस्ड एंड कैन बी रिप्लेस्ड बाय जीरो पॉइंट सेवन वोल्ट बैटरी इन द सर्किटरी सिंस द पॉजिटिव करंट इज एंट्रिंग एट द एनोड टर्मिनल ऑफ द फर्स्ट डायोड एज वेल एज एट द एनोड टर्मिनल ऑफ द सेकेंड डायोड सो दैट्स वाई बोथ वील स्टार्ट द कंडक्शन एंड द इक्वलेंट सर्किट कैन बी ड्रॉन लाइक दैट here the positive terminal of the battery will be mentioned and the negative terminal or cathode will be connected with the next positive terminal of the battery while we will replace or draw the current limiting resistor over here which is equal to 680 ohm in this case okay once you draw the equivalent circuit then it becomes quite easy to determine the parameters in that particular circuitry so assuming that we are interested in determining the value of the current and the output voltages then we will simply apply the kvl which says minus 12 volt plus 0.7 volt plus 0.7 volt plus the current flowing through this resistor into the resistor r which is equal to 680 ohms in this case it should result in zero okay since summation of v is equal to zero according to the kvl fine let's just simplify it further so it becomes minus 12 volt plus 1.4 volt plus 680 into i is equal to 0 and from here we can determine the value of i so i current will be equal to 12 minus 1.4 divided by 680 ohms let's just simplify it so this is equal to 15.58 milli ampere so this is the current that is flowing in this particular circuitry okay and now the last step is to determine the output voltage which is equal to i into 680 okay so 680 will be multiplied with the 15.58 milli amperes and you will get the answer that is equal to 10.6 volt fine so here you can clearly see that when two diodes are connected like that they both contribute in the conduction they both will be forward biased because the positive current is entering at the anode okay now what happens if we reverse the directions of these two diodes so we will have the same scenario except the fact that i will now reverse the direction of the s2 so in this case what will happen again plus 12 volt supply is connected with the silicon diode 
okay so its anode is at the higher potential now it will be turned on but the positive current is trying to enter at the cathode terminal of s2 or the next diode so in this particular case what will happen this diode will be reverse biased and it will be turned off so if you draw the equivalent circuit at this point you can simply replace the first diode with the plus 0.7 potential while the next diode is off so it can be replaced with an open circuitry fine and rest of the circuit parameter which is actually the resistor in this case will remain at its place but this time it can be noticed that the current path is not completed there is a breakdown so that's why in this particular case i is equal to zero there will be no conduction current and hence you can say that no voltage drop across the load resistor or 680 ohm resistor so that's why v out is equal to zero in this case thank you for watching